Hello friends, welcome back to my online chemistry tutorial. Last few presentation we were discussing about a reaction mechanism in our can chemistry. Today I am going to discuss you about an important reaction named reaction that is for condensation which comes under the topic chemistry of nitrate compound. So condensation it is actually a self condensation of aliphatic nitrates in the presence of bases to form NMH. And this reaction was discovered by a well-known scientist just like field thought. And this is the general reaction scheme to nitrates self-condensed in the presence of base to form first imine, which is uh, imine and this on tautomerase to give NMI. Okay, now uh, Thorpe Ziegler condensation. Now, what is the difference between Thorpe and Thorpe Ziegler? Thorpe Ziegler is a cyclization of dinitrase, that is this one, dinitrase. This is important thing. In the presence of base is closely analogous to Dickman condensation that we already discussed. Intramolecular cyclization of our diesters. It is exactly similar. We are using here in diesters instead of diesters, dinitrates are used. And initial product for this top Ziegler reaction is beta amino nitrate, that is this one. And this readily hydrolyzed to give beta ketonitrate, that is this compound. So we are starting with the dinitrile in form, finally, these two products. Here you can see that alpha carbon of one nitrate, this one, is added to the carbon of CN bond of another in the same molecule. That is, it is an intramolecular reaction. This intramolecular reaction is called the Ziegler reaction. And Thorpe reaction has its own advantages over Dickman reaction because in Dickman cyclization, the, that is only possible in five and six member ring. But Thorpe reaction is possible even in ring system is more than five and for seven more than seven and for seven member ring uh, usually get 95 percent eight, eight member ring you get 88 percentage and above nine eight or that is between nine and fifteen yield is less and in top Ziegler reaction, there is a possibility of intermolecular reaction because this nitrate can interact intermolecularly, and that problem was avoided by a technique used by Ziegler. What he did is he added nitrate in very dilute solution, that is an important part. Dilute solution to a larger quantity of either solution. Again, it diluted. So there is no possibility of meeting. If suppose the concentration is high, molecule will meet very quickly. But here, suppose you have a dilute solution, there is less possibility of collision. So intermolecular reaction can be avoided. Okay, now let us discuss the mechanism of thought reaction. First, we will consider the aliphatic compound. That is, uh, aliphatic compound self-condensed in the presence of base. First, one nitrile molecule in the presence of base, the alpha carbon get deprotonated to form carbanion. This is carbanion. And this carbanion 
will be added to the another molecule of carbon of car nitride. So it will be added here, triple bond break. And you can see it here. This part you can see in this product here. You can see it here, this part. Okay, this alpha carbon is added to this carbon. So carbon become this C N bond become triple bond and it become negatively charged. Other this part will come here. Okay, this on protonation, this get an NH that is an imine. This uh, imine tautomer is to give an enamine. Next, we will discuss the mechanism of Thor Ziegler reaction. We will start with this compound. This is a dinitrile compound. This on addition of base, this alpha hydrogen of uh, hydrogen get deprotonated and it become carbon uh, carbanion. Okay, this carbanion, this is this is the carbanion. This carbanion will be added to the carbon of another nitrile in the same molecule. Then a cyclization occurs here like this. And this become double bonded. That you can see here. A five member ring will be formed and C double bond N and this get negative charge because electron is transferring, triple bond is transferring towards the nitrogen. Then of course, there are uh, alcohol in the system. This get proton from this alcohol, and it become uh, this alcohol. Then it become uh, an imine. Then it can undergo tautomerism to form come on like this. Then this on protonation from the water. Finally, you get an in a mind. Okay, then let, let us see more examples for top Ziegler condensation. This is the one example. Here you can see a nitrate, two nitrate here, one is here, another one is here. This can undergo this alpha carbon of one nitrile can be added to the carbon of nitrile and it form a cyclic bond actually a cyclic bond is forming here and usually in this uh, bond this bond become double bonded usually okay so this is the first carbon here you can see it here this first carbon and cn is here and this is the Nit carbon of nitrile CN bond. Okay, CN bond. This is CN bond. That CN bond, this nitrogen becomes an H2 here. And this on hydrolysis, this imine usually you can convert or hydrolyze to ketone imines. Okay, it form ketone. And this can further hydrolyze to carboxylic acid, this CN. Then decarboxylate to give a finally a cyclic ketone product. If you want, you can get out of this dinitrate. Now let us take second example. This compound two nitrates are here in the presence of ethoxide. You can see here this is the alpha carbon. So friends, this alpha carbon will react with this nitrate. So a double bond will be formed here. What will happen to this nitrogen? This nitrogen become NH2. And where would be this CN? CN will be here. So now, now you can understand what are the changes that usually occurs in thor Ziegler condensation. Next example, it is a modified Thorpe reaction, Thorpe Ziegler reaction, and it is a radical Thorpe Ziegler reaction. Usually, a radical initiator and hydrogen radical donor, also a reagent, tributyl tin hydrate, is also used here. 
you can see here here this this ring is highly unstable this can undergo a radical reaction and this can break and it form a rearrangement this bromine also it can form a radical and this cn also can be cleave this cn radical will come i guess will come here and it can undergo uh, at this hydrogen radical generated from here combined with a radical formed here so it form a ch2 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 like this then this cn and this cn can undergo an uh, ziegler top ziegler condensation and it form finally and uh, you can see here cn is here alpha carbon of cn react with carbon c and cn of another molecule and this can become nh2 and this will become double bond so next example this compound this compound on in the presence of very strong base lda you need a very strong base here alpha carbon get deprotonated this can react with the carbon of nitrate of here can attack here this alpha carbon can attack here so friends what would be the product so here this this bond will come here this is okay this is coming here and this can cyclase where does the cyclization occurs this carbon that is this carbon is here okay and this carbon that is here so it is recombining and it become double bonded and this cyano group you can see it here and this nitrogen you can see it here so this how a part torp ziegler condensation so in summary uh, torp condensation it is exactly like an aldol condensation it is a self condensation of aliphatic nitrate to form enamine and torp ziegler method is intramolecular that is important intramolecular cyclization of dinitrate and your final product is a cyclic ketone cyclic ketone is obtained usually after hydrolysis that's all about torp ziegler condensation thank you for watching